Carson, this is Jim, we're from Sport Engine. Um, and tonight we are going to talk a little bit about the Schwann's USA Cup. So we are a sports technology company and I just want to set the stage for the event um, so we can better understand this mobile application. So Schwann's USA Cup is a tournament held in Blaine, Minnesota and it is a thousand team tournament with teams from 40 countries that are all traveling and participating. So it's kids all the way from six years old all the way up to U16, 17 and 18. And so, with that in mind, uh, Sport Engine is the, the technology provider on the CMS portion of things, tournament management, and then Tourney Mobile, which you see on the screen right here. So, Tourney Mobile is all the functionality that you would expect in a tournament application, and then some. So, uh, things like tournament information that, uh, that the event is updating uh, via the CMS. So, this is all customizable. Schedule and results able to search by division, by team. So let's pull up the U12 Silver, and we can view the games for Saturday, July 22nd there. Results. Uh, standings, so let's go down here to Boys U14 Gold. You can see how you stack up against your competitors. A few things like points for, points against, which are gonna affect how you roll into elimination uh, brackets. So let's go check out the brackets. So brackets in here show how teams advance, uh, the results as well. All right, activities and events. So things that people are doing when they're not actually participating in the games themselves. For Schwann's USA Cup, they had events like fun runs, golf outings, all sorts of things for, for the kids and for the fans to take part in every day of that event as well. Fields and locations. So this was an incredibly useful feature, especially, um, especially because NSC has 50 fields that people are moving around to and trying to find. So one of the things we introduced here was augmented reality. So let's see if we can pull up some of the fields. There we go. All right, so C1 is approximately 64,000 feet from here. <laughs> So if I start walking to my field right now, I might get there by next Tuesday. <laughs> All right, uh, news as well. Great way for these tournaments and events to communicate and uh, just publish content to, to their users. And then also announcements. So we're utilizing push notifications to update people on schedule changes and that sort of thing. So uh, think about Jim. So think about tournaments, events, and when you were a kid, and especially with a thousand team tournament USA Cup. Um, I think back when I was in soccer tournaments and I had really three distinct phases to the event. I had the anticipation, where I was practicing with my team and was with my parents. I had the event itself, games, and would maybe meet another team or some friends there. And then the nostalgia phase where I was hopefully hoisting a trophy and talking about our wins. Um, but at the end of the day, I was really participating with my team and my parents and really just a couple other people. USA Cup had a thousand teams from over 40 countries and they were all experiencing these phases. And we thought it would be incredibly cool to be able to have all of the participants be able to um, participate through that and share with everyone else. So our solution for that was Social Stream. So Social Stream, uh, built right into the app here, incredibly easy to share photos, videos, and text. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, let's just run through a quick demo of this. All right. Good luck, Sport Engine team competing in sand soccer this evening. All right, we're going to post that into the stream. So as you'll notice here, this content is being added to a social stream where all the participants are contributing to this simultaneously. And so if we, when we look at USA Cup in this example, there were over a thousand photos, videos, and posts that were shared th throughout the duration here. All right, so this is great, but what about 10-year-old, 11-year-old, 12-year-olds all running around with smartphones and they're all taking photos and publishing into the social stream. They're really great at taking photos, but they may not know what is appropriate. Thanks to our uh, first demonstration tonight. That's <laughs> just a, a preview of what can happen. Incredibly scary. So let's cruise over here into our moderation queue. So as an administrator, I can go in here and let's check out what people have been adding to the social stream here. Take a look at the image, download it here. Oh, 
I do not think that we want to publish that. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. No, no, no. All right. So what are we going to do? We're going to not publish that one, move on to a post. All right, here's a message from someone in Mexico encouraging their U12 team. So we're going to approve that, and that's going to flow right into the social stream as well. All right, we're going to check out another image here. Make sure that this one is, is kid-friendly. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is from one of our sponsors. So now we've given these tournaments a chance to really engage with, uh, with the participants and really create some great value for our sponsors as well. Thousands and thousands of people are interacting with this, and now we get their message in front of our, in front of our fans as well. Yeah, so that's really great for the 1,000 participants, 2,500 um, games that are going on from 40 countries. The best part about it is that nobody has to create a new account. They can post anonymously, which is great for parents. Uh, like myself, I don't want my young kids having to create a new account in a social network. I don't know what's going on. They can all participate right from day one because by downloading the app, everybody is already connected and are able to share that. But it really would only be great if we were able to bring this to tournaments all over the world, which is what our vision is to do. And in doing so, we've worked really hard to be able to scale that and make it cost effective, where in reality, from design to the time we submit it to App Store, is literally done within two hours. So we're able to do that in a cost effective way and bring this type of technology, which is participative and is something that everybody can do for kids and make it a really great sports experience. So that's just a preview about, of what we're doing at Sport Engine. We're really trying to enhance the experience of amateur and youth sports. Um, this is just one of many projects that we're working on. And if this has any interest to you, we'd love for you to stop by our website, sportengine.com, at Sport Engine. We have a bunch of great positions open currently, and we would love to talk to you more about this. Thank you.